Hey there, my beautiful Aquarius. Welcome back. This reading, we're taking a look at your love, your money, and a general message. Okay? So stay tuned. Stick around. And make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Okay, two cards wanted to come out. So we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay? So let's take a look at your money. What's going on with Aquarius's money? Okay, we have have faith in your dreams. Waving, oh no, waxing crescent moon. Okay, so have faith in what, what it is that you want to manifest. Have faith in your dreams. That's something that's really specific, you know. Um, there could be something that you're dreaming of doing. We have prioritize. Archangel Metatron, focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. Okay, so this could be motivating you to making your dreams come true. And we at the bottom we have, you know what to do. Archangel Urel, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. So yeah, you know, I feel like your angels are letting you know it's time to act on something that you've been dreaming about doing. It, it's time to put those dreams into motion, right? Um, so let's go ahead and get into your message. What do we have for Aquarius? Message for Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius? We have the Magician and the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah, you're manifesting. You're manifesting something, Aquarius. You have the devil and the magician. The devil and the magician. Yeah, I, I feel like there may be something that was holding you back from a very long time from bringing something forward. You know, there's something that. But look at this. Now. The devil and the Hierophant. This is good and evil, right? I, I feel like maybe you have this angel on one side and this devil on another saying like, no, you can't do it. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Yes, you can. You know, I, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like you're, you're like in this battle, in this struggle, Aquarius. Very interesting. Let's see. But we have the sun and the empress. Wow. Okay. So let's take a look at Aquarius's love. Let's take a look at what we have for Aquarius and love. Okay. We have the Eight of Pentacles. There's something that you're working on. We have the Fool. A new beginning. And the Emperor. So you're taking back control of something. It could be that you just went through some kind of tower moment. You just went through something that was very, very emotional. Um, um, but I feel like, you know, you're ac actually rebuilding. You're taking advantage of this new beginning after this tower. Okay, so it could be a relationship that had ended, some kind of divorce, some kind of breakup. But I feel like you're in this rebuilding stage. You're, you're going on this new adventure in your life. But you're, you feel like you're in total control. You feel like you finally have control. You're finally able to, you know, see things from a different perspective. To really take back your power. Okay? Tell me about Aquarius' money. Give me a message for Aquarius' money, please. Okay. 
these cards you just don't want to shuffle today. Okay, so for money, we have the Page of Cups, the Star, and the World card. Look at this. New beginnings, new cycles. So definitely, I'm, I feel like your money may be wrapped up in this situation here uh, because there's healing going on here as well. And I feel like you're going through a new cycle. We do have the Empress here on the bottom, right? So we have the Emperor and the Empress. The Empress is kind of standing back, standing behind. So I feel like if this was a breakup, I feel like the Empress is still kind of lingering. Um, this could be your energy that you're taking on, Aquarius. But I feel like... You know, that Empress and that Emperor energy should be together, and they're not, right? Um, but I feel like you're going through a new cycle. You're going through some kind of healing with your finances. After some kind of focusing on yourself and grieving what you've lost, being in doubt, okay? Um, we do have the sun on the bottom, so I feel like, you know, you're trying to put yourself first, but you're, you're, you have happiness. You know, we have the Hierophant as well, so I feel like you're becoming more spiritual. You may be turning to your spiritual guides for assistance, for help, you know, um, and I feel like that's the reason why they're coming out so strong. Okay, tell me about Aquarius' general message. General message, yeah. The Three of Swords. The Six of Cups. And the Ace of Cups. Okay, yeah, we have the Empress on the bottom again. So she's showing up again. So I feel like this Empress is just standing back watching, right? But I feel like you've had some kind of heartbreak. You've had some kind of sadness. It may have to do with the family. Um, but I feel like there's something that you're mourning. There's something that, you know, really made you sad. And now you're trying to rebuild that happiness. You're trying to rebuild or put this family back together is what I'm getting. You're trying to put the family back together with this Ace of Cups energy, you know? Um, so there could be a breakup and, and a reconciliation, or there could be a breakup and a new love emerging. Okay, tell me about this. I want to work on this general message first, actually, because this is like, I, I feel like this is more important. Okay, tell me about this Three of Swords energy, the King of Cups. Yeah, you're caught in your emotions. You're caught in your emotions. I feel like you feel like you're, you're looking for support. You know, you could be taking on this King of Cups energy. Um, tell me about the Six of Cups. Choices. Yeah, there's been some hard decisions. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. The Chariot. Yeah, there's decisions on whether you should move or whether you should stay. I feel like with this King of Cups energy, there's... And I, I feel like you're like pouring out your emotions here. You feel like, you know, there's some choices that need to be made. And maybe those choices aren't being made. Um, but I feel like there's someone who's moving. There's someone who's leaving a situation. They're moving on uh, because of some kind of choice that was made in the family. Okay? We have the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like with this Nine of Pentacles, I feel like someone is being left alone. Someone is there to go it independently. Right? Right? Um, yeah, there's a tower again. 
Yeah, so something something had to crumble. There was some kind of breakup. Hmm. Okay, let's get back to this love here. Uh, give me a message for this Eight of Pentacles, the Fool, the Emperor. What is Aquarius rebuilding? Give me a message. Why is Aquarius rebuilding? The King of Cups again. Yeah. The King of Cups. The Two of pinnacles setting priorities making choices i feel like you know this king of cups didn't put you first and or had other priorities that's the reason why to tell me about this fool and this emperor give me a message about this fool and this emperor why is this new beginning here the empress look at this And the devil. Yeah. I feel like this empress may have had some kind of addiction, some kind of temptation. It may have been a three-party situation because the king of cups is steady coming out twice, right? So I feel like this king of cups energy, this isn't your energy with this king of cups. And I feel like, you know, this may have been a three-party situation because someone didn't make you a priority. Someone had other priorities, right? And now that sets you on this new beginning, you're able to take your control back and rebuild, okay? Um, but I feel like this Empress energy was very attractive, very appealing, and there could have been some kind of temptation. She was tempted by something. That could be male or female. It doesn't matter. You know, I'm just going by what the cards are. Okay, let's take a look at Aquarius's money. What's going on with Aquarius's money? Okay, the Nine of Cups. The Hangman right and the knight of swords so you have two knights here one is waiting for some offer some support and the other is maybe making very hasty decisions so here's the thing aquarius i feel like maybe right now you're being very stubborn with your money and you're not really thinking before you're spending. You're like going through this healing mode. You may be spending and, you know, you may be this emotional spender to where, you know, you have to spend to feel better. You know, you have to buy your something, yourself something to feel better. But I feel like, you know, there's something that's being really... Hmm... You're spending a little bit too much, I think. I think you're focused on yourself, but you're also focused on your healing. Okay. Give me a message for... Give me some clarity on Aquarius's general message. Give me a message for Aquarius. Yeah. Things are going to become more clear. You, you are going to be able to make the tough choices. We have the Two of Swords, the Two of Swords. So there's definitely some choices. But I feel like you're waiting for something to become clear. You're waiting for something to be answered before something is finished. Right? But I feel like you know that something is finished. But you're just, you're not backing down yet. You know, there's a reason why you're sticking around. Because, you know... You're trying to fight for the situation. You're trying to have patience in the situation. But I feel like you really don't want to see things as being over. 
the communication just isn't there. I feel like you're waiting on some kind of communication. You're waiting on someone to speak. You know, you really don't want to walk away from the situation because you feel like it was permanent. You felt like it was going to last forever. So you're like caught between this temporary and permanent. And you really don't want to walk away. You're kind of backwards, you know. Yeah, I feel like you're like lacking the opportunities. Look at all those reverse. Yeah, the tower in reverse. You didn't want this to end. You didn't want this to crumble. So I, I really feel like this is a very abrupt breakup. This is something that really caught you by surprise. It could be because of some kind of temptation with this empress. Um, some kind of addiction of some kind. But I feel like it left you needing to make choices. You know? And I feel like... You know, you're going to be able to make those choices. You're going to be able to move on, to move forward and find that peace. Um, but I feel like you, you, you're you still looking for answers. You're still looking to fight. You're still looking to defend something that you really care about. Something that you really, you know, you don't want to be alone. Yeah, you don't want to be alone. You know, you feel like, hmm. <sighs> oh, Aquarius. Hmm. Okay, let's get you some angel cards. What messages do we have for Aquarius? We have Heart Awakening. Awaken to the acceptance and divine love. Give and receive in balance. Okay. And we have Infinite Abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. Okay. And at the bottom we have Care and Compassion. Choose to be loved. Do what is right for everyone involved and offer a helping hand. Okay? So, Aquarius. Let's go ahead and pull your angel number. We have 1414, the possibilities. Building strong foundations creates st stability and welcomes in possibilities. All possibilities exist and are amplified when gratitude is felt for the foundations that are in place. Okay, your affirmation. I am grateful for all that is and all that will be. I trust in the possibilities of what I desire or something greater. Okay, so... Aquarius, this is your reading. Okay, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't, make sure to take a look at your other placements. They could be resonating with you more. And happy Easter, Aquarius. I hope all goes well. And until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.